We are live. This is the live Total OS Today show podcast right here on the terrific LDC, the Linux Distro Community.com. Why not join us? It's free, it's friendly, and why not share your knowledge about technology? Well, for tonight's show, I'm joined by my good friend Pinkcast, and we will talk a little bit about the uh, LDC, how to join either uh, using uh, IRC text chat or voice chat. And this is going to be a, just a little tutorial on, on how to join because hopefully the first week of November, I hope to host a parents podcast if I can get enough parents on the show. That topic will be something like uh, how has social media and or technology affected you and your family. But for tonight's show, just a quick tutorial on how to join the LDC. Pinkcast, how are you doing? Doing great, Tolos. How about you? I'm doing terrific. Here in Ohio, the temperature was in the high 70s, not a cloud in the sky and dry. Man, I, all I needed was, was a boat, the ocean, and a case of tequila. Uh, yeah, weather's been doing good here, too. It's in the 70s down here. Cool. All right, well, let me get started real quick. Let me just get down to the basic bakes, basics and then uh, I'll pass it on to Pinkcast. Now Pinkcast has been part of the LDC uh, longer than I have. I, I started back uh, I think in July is when I got the invitation from the founder of Voltam. As far as this goes, if you would like to join the LDC for the parents podcast or for whatever reason, if you just like to come in and chat and talk about any specific topics or just shoot the breeze. Well, first of all, it doesn't matter if you are running Linux, Windows, or Mac. Uh, the, the name says Linux Distro Community, but this is for everybody. So obviously, you will need a computer, desktop, or laptop. If you are running a laptop, I would strongly suggest that you keep it plugged in. Um, if you're going to uh, go to the IRC uh, chat you do not need a headset microphone or anything like that you can just you know log in using a temporary username you can remain anonymous if you like just log in with with any name you like it, you know and you, you can just pick a name like uh, if it's for the family podcast you can just pick you know uh, family man one as a username or you know dad number one or, or whatever you want to use that's in text chat. As far as voice chat uh, goes, I would strongly recommend that you have a pretty nice uh, microphone and or headset mic. You don't have to spend a lot of money. The one I'm using now that uh, seems to work pretty good was actually about 40 bucks. It is a Logitech. Uh, the model number escapes me now, but any, in my opinion, uh, any Logitech mic, I would say 40 bucks and up, you are probably going to be Okay, now if you do join and want to be part of the um, parents podcast, it will be recorded, so I would need everybody's permission to record the show. If you have your own website and or YouTube uh, channel, the uh, podcast will be recorded and released under the Creative Commons license, meaning everyone is free to uh, post it on their channel or website. All I ask is that you give credit where credit is due. An example of that would be, let's say on that particular week, uh, Toss Today and Pinkcast are the co-hosts for the Parents Podcast. And you would put something in the show, na show notes, either, you know, courtesy of or thanks to Toss Today or Pinkcast, and maybe put our, put a link to our respective YouTube channel. So as far as the hardware goes, any computer is fine. If you're running a laptop, keep it plugged in. I strongly recommend you have a decent headset mic. And of course, you need high speed internet. Now, as far as registering and maybe a little bit, a little bit about the history of LDC, I will pass the microphone to my good friend, Pinkcast. Um, just so you know, for those of you who are interested in connecting, you can head on over to linuxdistrocommunity.com. That's all one word, linuxdistrocommunity.com. And you'll see some links, IRC, forums, whatever. You can get the mobile connect info so you can get all of that connect info from our main website. There's even a live um, IRC client you can click on and use it within your web browser so you don't have to worry about getting one installed on your machine. Um, now, onto the bit of the history from 
LDC. Uh, those of you who may have been around the Linux community you may have had some good experiences, you may have had some bad experiences dealing with fellow Linux users, and basically we just want to create a community where people from all different distros can come together and just talk about Linux, talk about technology, and just socialize and relax. Uh, I first met uh, Voltam, our founder, and a few of the other people uh, who were, I guess, the, what you could consider the founding members about a year ago. Uh, I met them in the Pin Guy OS channel. Uh, I believe they had met each other in the Bodhi IRC channel, but Voltam had started a TeamSpeak server, and that's when we started doing our whole voice chat. And I think that's one of the things that makes this community unique in that we do a mumble server, and that's one of our primary methods of communication is over voice chat, where a lot of communities will focus on IRC. So we started on TeamSpeak, then we moved over to Mumble because it's open source. Uh, so with the whole uh, proprietary versus open source thing, it would probably make more sense to use open source software to communicate. Um, and that's, uh, you can ask me more if you want, Toss, but that's about the uh, summary of what happened. No, that sounds cool. Yeah, I, you know, since I've been doing this on a weekly basis, mostly on a weekly basis, I've really had a, I've, I have had a lot of fun, you know, meeting the new people here and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable experience for me as a Windows, well, now as a dual booter between, um, you know, Windows 7 and my primary desktop Linux OS is Ubuntu 12.04. But no, that's a great uh, bit. Uh, Great information on the history of the LDC. To me, I I just hope it continues to grow, and and I think Voltam is doing a terrific job. Why don't we talk a little bit, Ping, about um, you know for someone uh, who is who is completely new now, Mumble is is available for for a free download whether you are running Linux or Windows Seven. Now, as far as using Mumble, Ping, if you would get a little bit into the into the technicality, if you would, as far as how to register username, password, and configuring Mumble for your mic and all that good stuff. All right, well, let's just say your distro doesn't have Mumble pre-installed. So you go to your software center and you'll install it. Ubuntu is a Debian-based distro, so you'll be using .debs. If you're using something like Fedora, OpenSUSE, you'll be using a .rpm. Um, uh, those are the two most common uh, package extensions, I guess, on your packages. There are others like Arch and Slack where you use different extensions, but if you're new, you're not going to be using those distros. Uh, so let's just say you got it, you got it installed, um, and now you need to configure it and you need to connect to LDC. So you go to the Linux Distro Community website, linuxdistrocommunity.com. So I'm going to head there now. So I'm in there. Now there's a label that says voice chat. So let me click on that. So it'll give you the details for joining. So once you have those details, it'll tell you all the info you need. So let's, we can add the server. So if I go to server and I go to connect, you can do that by pressing control O if you're a keyboard user. So you'll probably just see something like public internet on your server list. Uh, down at the bottom, the middle button, you'll see add new. So click on that. We have an add new server. There'll be a label. It's for you. You can label it whatever you want. You could say LDC links district. You could say chicken for all you want. It, that's just for you. Whatever you want to have it appear in your list. Now, below that, you'll see an address box. You'll enter linuxdistrocommunity.mumble.com into your address box. Then you'll need to get your port number. That's 3259. And then after that is your username. I'm Pingcast, so I just enter Pingcast. You click OK. Yeah, it pops up. It's just the next, next, next dialog. Uh, so if if you uh, open up the box next, it'll be, uh, I think your microphone is the first thing. Yep, it'll say input and output device. Input's your microphone, uh, what you're speaking into. And then output is for you, what you can hear. So like your speakers or your headphones. Um, 
there are different sound architectures. If you're using Ubuntu, uh, you'll be using Pulse. Or any derivative of Ubuntu will probably be using Pulse. Uh, and you just, it might, your default input might be the right one. If it's not, just click on the drop down list and search for whatever is. Like my webcam is not the default input, but in the drop down list, there is an entry for my webcam, so I have to set that manually. For my mic, uh, the uh, output works by default for me, so I can just hear, but you need to configure it to make sure it works. And uh, then after that... I think I uh, just saw at the top of my head, disable text-to-speech. That's, yeah, that's later on down the line. I'd recommend that unless you're unless you have some sort of impairment that would require it. Right. But after that, there's some settings, like, uh, I think you have to, there's like a slider. Right. Device tuning, you just turn that down as far as you can, as, as low as you can without any jittering or lag when it's doing the test uh, yes. voice. Right. After that is the volume tuning, you can just control the sensitivity of your microphone through there. Um, I also would like to let you know that you can also, through your operating system, turn your mic volume up and down. I'd recommend messing with that first. Yeah, I, th I think if you're running Windows, Pink, I think I, th I think you just go to mumble.com. If you're running Windows, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's I, been I a while. So. It's been a, yeah, it's been a while. I haven't. I do have a Windows installation. I have installed Mumble on it, but that was several months ago. I think. Not too long after you switch to Mumble, so I'm going to have to uh, look at that real quick. Uh, it might work, let me see. Yeah, I just jumped on Mumble.com, I believe, to the... I'm, I'm looking at the main page, and you can download Mumble for Windows, Linux, and Mac, by the way. So you can go to Mumble.com, and in big letters it says, Download Mumble. Yeah, I have the Windows install, I just don't boot into it often, because I really really like Linux so I spend as much time in it as I can. Uh, let's see, after that is your voice activation I believe. You have three choices, push to talk, continuous, and voice detection. We request that you don't use voice, or I'm sorry, the uh, continuous talk because background noise will just go in and it'll bug everybody we hear Very static important. yes exactly people talking or if you're a speakers user the sound coming out of your speakers will go into your mic and that's right not good uh voice detection uh if there if nothing triggers it if it's just you talking and we don't get any background noise and we don't have the same problem you would have if you did the continuous talk then you can use voice detection as long as it doesn't become problematic for other people but the majority of people will be a, a will use a a key. You have to press a key to um, activate the uh, voice chat, and you basically have a text box there. You can, you gotta select the radio button for push to talk, then you click on the text box, and it'll say like press a key, and you push whatever key on your keyboard you want, and that in your voice activation is bound to that key. I I personally use right control. Majority of people like these uh, left control, but picks a same key. Do not pick something like backspace. I, I knew one guy who did that and click the clap, click the clap, click the clap. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Uh, let's see yeah. what's after that. I use, uh, I, um, I use, what am I using? I'm, I'm using the uh, shift key, so yeah. After that, uh, you'll have your quality settings, you can do low, medium, high. The higher, of course, your quality, sound quality is, then the more bandwidth is going to take. And that's also the the area of the dialogue where it's going to ask you if you want text-to-speech, and by default it's enabled. It is really, really annoying. So if you don't need it, I would suggest turning off. It's going to get on your nerves so fast. So you just click on... Uh, you disable text to speech. Ping for voice chat. Does a person need to register first and have a password? Because I I can't remember. Oh, I'll get into that after the run dialogue. Um, it's okay. not necessary. Not necessary though. But um, I'll I'll talk okay. more about that in a minute. And after that, it's something like I uh, use headphones. The checkbox. I guess it must do something to help you with headphones. I use headphones, so I just click the checkbox. And after that. You can choose whether or not you want to submit anonymous statistics with to Mumble, 
to help them. You can read all about that if you want to. That's great. If you don't want to, that's fine. And then you'll be done configuring Mumble. Uh, for Pingai OS users, as far as I know, it still auto connects to the LDC, but it's going to skip the audio wizard. So you're going to have to uh, start it on your own to configure your audio wizard. Um, and as for registration, you don't have to register, but if you do, no one else can take your name because um, you'll have a certificate which you'll want to back up uh, so that if you reinstall or something, you can use your certificate certificate and get into your uh, name, but only you will then be able to use your name. You'll also be able to have an avatar, which, uh, well, I think it's more of a it's comment. Basically, people hover their mouse over your name, and you can have text or images, so uh, let's say Spatry's in here. You could have a comment of my YouTube channel is this, and then that link to his YouTube channel for you so if you hovered over his name you could know his YouTube channel. I believe his he has his cup of Linux mug as his avatar. Yes. Um and uh there there are some also more complex stuff that operates off of certificates. I believe you can also do uh room privileges off of certificates so that you could say only these certain people are allowed in because the certificate is bound to you so you can, basically, it's pretty much unless somebody else got hold of that certificate, you can pretty much assume that it's you. So Mumble can operate off of permissions off of that certificate. You can say that this person, this person, this person is allowed to do this, that, and the other, and it'll identify you by your certificate. So if you say this person's an admin on Mumble, then it'll look at your certificate. So yeah, that's an alternative to uh, like a, a passworded room. You could just operate off of certificate privileges, for instance. Right. But that's all the more complex stuff. Yeah, let me jump in here just real quick. If I may make a suggestion for all the newbies out there, if you're not sure or need to tweak it, uh, you know, before jumping on live, if you know, if you want, maybe send me a message, and maybe uh, I I usually try to jump on the LDC just to say hi a couple nights a week. So if you know, if you want to jump on and practice, you know, either uh, either on IRC just to get the feel for it if you've never done it before, or just to tweak your microphone just to just to see or just to hear how we sound like to each other. That's perfectly fine. That's of course if you want to jump on live. Uh, more so for the live chat. For the texting chat, there's really nothing to um, configure or tweak. You just log in with the username and start typing. But just as a little advice, if you want to join us live on voice chat, you may want to jump in uh, you know, one night when we're not doing a show just to get the feel for the voice chat. Um, you don't need a mic. You can actually type in mumble, but if you're the only person without a mic, it might not be as fun. But It'll help too if you're having mic issues. You can we have a help desk channel. You can hop down there. You can ask one of us to try and help you. We'll do our best, uh, and you can try to get the uh, sound sorted. Right. Okay, Pinga. That was a great uh, explanation about the history and some of the technicalities. I think we've got it all without missing anything, right? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. If you want to connect, uh, linksdistrocommunity.com give you all the info, IRC forms, mumble, whatever. You can connect uh, and start chatting away with us. We're a friendly, loving community. I hope you guys will come say hi to us. We'll be happy to chat with you uh, about Linux, about technology, about whatever, and hope you enjoy your stay. Absolutely, yes. Just to let everybody know, I come from primarily a Windows background, and I was invited because uh, I felt, I mean, I feel very, you know, warm and welcome coming here, and I and I enjoy dual booting, you know, between Windows 7 and Ubuntu, and of course, I also run Linux, Smith, and Zorn, but I'm here because I, I have fun. I like to share my knowledge about technology and my experiences, and for anybody out there who is completely new, you know, completely you know, I guess the word is naked to the te te technology world. Come here, or at least come to TOS today, because I cater towards newbies. But really, anyone here, if you have any questions, if they have an answer, they'll be happy to share it with you. 
Okay, well, on that note, just the one last thing. Um, I think next week, Pincast, let's do a favorite Android app show next week. Uh, there will be no uh, show this Sunday night coming up. I forget the date. I think it's the 28th, the Sunday night. But there will be no show this Sunday night. I will have another show sometime during the weeknight next week. I don't know yet. Hopefully, we can get uh, Twill and or more guests guests on the show. But next week, we'll have our a show, a fun show, less, less technical, just on our favorite Android apps, such as apps on your smartphone and or tablets. And then hopefully, the following week, I'll have enough uh, guests and details to record one of those nights, the parents podcast. So, but as far as this, this podcast and this tutorial goes, Follow the instructions. If you get stuck, don't panic. Jump on the LDC to help forum. Help forum. Send me a message. Send Pincast a message. Uh, what's required is not a lot of knowledge. Maybe maybe a little bit of patience. Uh, make sure you have a decent mic and or headset if you want to chat with us. And we'll be here waiting for you if you have any questions. Uh, Ping, why don't you go ahead and take us out? All right. I hope you enjoyed uh, our podcast on the LDC. Come hang out with us. Uh, we'll enjoy chatting with you. And we'll see you sometime in the future. Of course. See you guys next week. Ciao.